Hey everybody, it's another good morning. We've got a garage we're doing with a little back like patio on it, three bay garage. Five inches thick today, we got wire mesh, 3500 PSI concrete. The setup was all done by the builder. We just we're just hired here today to pour and finish. Auburn concrete today. We're down in the south, southern part of Maine. These guys are only about a mile away. We basically two companies we use this Auburn concrete. They have like six or seven concrete plants around the state, mostly in our area. And then we use Haley concrete, which is right up by our town, Monmouth. So today we're we're an hour away from the shop today. And like I said, these guys are right down the road. Just a little bit more convenient when they're right down the road. We should have plenty of creep, but you never know. We did come down and shoot grades, but we got two 10 to halves and that's the most they can put on these two trucks. And that's right what it figured too. It figured right about 21 yards. Probably give that 20. One more time, ten more. I'm doing what? Really? This side doesn't move better, so right here I was like, oh! It's not from here. No. No? Yeah, it's right. Last night was what night at the forum? I was just tired. Oh boy. Yeah. Give me a rain check. You know you're getting old now. <laughs> that was better. What's that say on the front gauge? Did, or did it? Move on, we'll kick on ass. Yeah, that's about what we want. Good. A little bit. Back a little bit. That's what we like. Second truck showing up. Getting stuck, getting ready. We don't have to wait.
Oh, this is empty and I'll wait for them guys. Should be about out. I think once these scrapes are, you just pull ahead and wash out right here. We'll just rinse it down. Okay. Turn it into rock. Thank you. Mix, please. Bags yeah. Six. Yeah. You want us to put the bags in for you? Okay. Perfect. <laughs> you gonna make it there? You dizzy? Green shape yet. Whew. That was good. Looks like he's over halfway, so once we get a truck down, get it raked out, it doesn't really take long to screed it with four guys. So it takes longer to just to dump it out, get it all raked around. As long as you get it close. That's why we put them chalk lines there, give us something to go by and then, you know, we got one guy shooting the pad with a laser, make sure our level in the middle is close, make sure everything goes so much faster. These guys, they do a 50-50 a mix with the aggregate for us too, so they got 50% of it's three quarter stone, 50% is three eight stone, so it makes for a nice floor mix. You still got the fiber mesh in there, even though there's wire. When there's no, you can tell when there's no dips or humps under the bull float, when, when both sides of the ends of the bull float are touching, and there's no gaps under it or anything like that, you can tell this, that's when you know you screed. You're screeding nice and flat. That's the smoothness we like right there. When, when we leave a floor and we're gonna power trow it, we like to get it nice and smooth. Then we can let it sit for as long as possible before we put the power trow on it. We don't wanna get on it too early. So the smoother it is, the less the less uh, rock holes or roughness the power trow has to take out. Having a little bit of trouble getting it up the slump this morning, you know, having to mix two or three times. But better, better for them to be careful not get it too wet you know it's a lot easier to add 10 gallons than it is to get it too wet than have to deal with the concrete being wet the turkeys <laughs> we have a lot of turkeys around here they're not very shy either a bunch more over there in the woods So once we get this garage pot dumped out, we'll back him right back here and do this patio. Get that truck out of the way. But I had people cutting one my hand. Coming out at night. Got an audience. 
It would probably slump out at seven and seven and a half. It just don't feel like it. Yeah. Plus we're out of shape and we're getting older. You know, it just, you know. It's still clean. It, I mean, it looked a little drier than a seven, but it might slump out at a seven. Yeah. I'm wondering if maybe there's a little extra dust in it or something. Yeah, maybe. I mean, that's what I would call pretty close to a seven. But if you pull it up out of a cone, you know, it's probably just going to... One, yeah, I will get this dumped out. I'll move, no, I'll just move this truck out of the way. We'll just oh, okay. get you right about. I don't know if there's might, might be a septic tank or something there. I don't know. We won't get you over there. Oh, yeah. That's right. Reach that far corner. Yep. All kinds of women. You're looking at it. That's it. You didn't see them run off. They already ran off. That's a Tom turkey. Run around. Go ahead, yeah. Does it feel chewy, Mike, or are we just wimpy? <laughs> I'd probably slump out at a seven. We had to start at 6 this morning. That's the only time they could get us concrete today, 6 in the morning. So, get up at 3.30, left the house at 4.30, got here about 5.30. Crete showed up. Crete was a little bit late. I think it was about 5, 6 minutes late, but it was right around 6 o'clock. So, the sun's just coming up. We don't mind. Get done pouring this by 7.30, be home by noontime, 1 o'clock. Makes for a good day. Come a couple strokes and we'll get some more in you. Dizzy? You dizzy? A little bit. Hold on. A little bit right there, Sean. Yeah. Get a little bit more, Sean. Yep. Whew. Out on the hamstring. Think there's enough in the shoe? Uh, run just a tad more, please. 
Watch this, eh? Hold my knees. <laughs> oh, Darren, I'm gonna get one of them little oxygen bottles. Yeah. It's not gonna work for you, don't they? All right, we'll lock you there, pull your head, I'll move this over there. Okay. There's a crack. Probably all going, going back to that stake, Sean, I think. I, I, it might be a septic tank there. Yeah, maybe like two. Probably only got a couple yards left. Concrete seems really creamy. Nice pace to it. Boat floats real easy. This is when it's nice to have a crew of guys that know what they're doing so they can they can get going on something like that. They'll have that all poured out, might even have it all screeded before I get done boat floating. Just makes things go so much faster. That first one is setting up already, you can feel it under the boat float pretty firm right there where the two loads meet up. Whew, sun's coming up. It's going to be a good day. It's what we like. Can you here raise that shoot up a little bit, please? Thank you. They had to have these trucks back by, they was hoping to have them back by 7, but we got them here a few minutes late. 7.18. So, <clears throat> took us just about an hour to pull all that. Too bad. Leave Darren and Luke here to finish, and I'm going to head back. Probably go out in the driveway. Well, hey guys, that went pretty good. So the garage, that's a that's a 40 by 28 garage, three bays, and this is a 14 by 12 patio or sunroom or whatever you want to call it. So in case you want to know the sizes, floor was about a five inch floor. It took 21 yards and it went pretty good. We like I said, we sloped it out the front two inches from the back to the front. We'll, we'll taper those doorways down a little bit more so when the garage door sits down, they sit on a taper so no water comes in. And that's it. So everything went pretty good. Any questions, leave them down in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.